So I'm going to show you another exercise that I do quite a bit. Um, it's a it's a defensive sort of exercise, um, and it's pretty much just defending with your pronation. So it's like a static pronation. So it's a real easy setup. This one. It's pretty much just the the strap coming over the top, and you pretty much you can do it with bands or weights. Today I'm doing it with bands, but so you can do it with either. Because it's coming from that sort of low down angle, um, and you really want this to be heavy to the point where when it's up to centre you can't even really pronate it. Um, so all I do is I pretty much just use my other hand to, to, to straighten me up, get in position, and then basically you're just holding your pronation for as long as you can. And if you've got a heavy enough weight, it gets hard pretty quick, but what this will do is really, you're not actively pronating, um, but what it will let you do in a match is it just blocks the other person. So uh, if they don't have enough cut to turn you, you'll find even if they're stronger than you and they're getting you to a pin, if you can keep this pronation just locked, you'll be in a much better place to either stop the match and still be in a good enough position to, to bring it back. Um, the other good thing about it is it will stop, obviously stop people from hooking you, or if they do sink a hook, but your pronation is still threatening enough and strong enough, what will happen is you'll actually end up in the more offensive hook, and they will be the ones that are underneath you, so you can still use your power a lot better and a lot more efficiently. Um, another good way to do it, if you want to get even more torque into the pronation, is obviously bring that other one over. And depending on what you want, if you connect it to the, the back one, you'll find this will really make you have to hold with your, your pinkies as well. Um, so yeah, if you, you do that now, now it's pronating, but it's also really pulling at the bottom. So if you let go of the pressure on this hand, it's pretty much top rolling you. Um, but you can have a play because putting them in different spots kind of do a different thing. Like this, the front hole kind of, it just hits the pronation a bit more. Um, but yeah, if you want to just add a little bit extra, you can do that. Another good way to do it is to use the strap, um, yeah, strap up to it and hit that same thing. You'll find you'll be able to use the strap really well and it'll, it'll condition you to really using that strap. But yeah, it's a, it's a really good one. I rate it really highly. It's also something that I do a lot in training, when I'm training with people that aren't as strong as me, I'll give up almost every other spot apart from that pronation. So I'll let them pretty much get get my fingers, maybe even a little bit of, get my wrist bent back just a little bit, but the only thing I'll kind of deny is I won't let them turn me over. And I'll just sit there and just work with with that pronation wherever I let them go. Just focus on keeping the pronation and you'll find that even if you're much stronger than them, you'll get a really good workout and it benefits both of you, it keeps them safe. Um, yeah, it's just a really good exercise. You just gotta remember it's not about actually pronating, it's, yeah, it's just the whole. Yeah, thanks for watching.